Hello there. Welcome to the channel. My name is Shane. Thank you for joining me. For those of you that are new, I have a ton of videos on the refurbishment of the hydraulics on a David Brown 990 tractor. I take off the hydraulic cylinder. I re redo the seals inside of the the lift lock there, I take the valve chest out, uh, redo all the stuff inside there, take the quadrant off there and redo it, or clean it up at least. I take the entire ramshaft assembly out, the right-hand ramshaft, and I actually go through the valve chest. So take a look and go down into the content on my channel. If you're interested in refurbishing the hydraulics of a Selectomatic system, I mean, this applies for most of the tractors that are in the Selectomatic range. Mine may be a little different than yours, but for the most part, the Selectomatic system for the tractors that have it is pretty much the same. It's identical across all the tractor models. And what I have done here with the hydraulics should be applicable to most of you with a Selectomatic system. So if it helps, it helps. If it hurts, I ain't responsible. For those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, it's been a while since I've uh, made a video and I've been working and it's, I haven't had a lot of time uh, here lately to do a lot in terms of this tractor, but time is fast approaching where I'm going to have to go and plant food plots and use this thing, plowing, disking, uh, using the box blade to fix roads. So I'll be filming a lot of that as we come up to that in September. Uh, and you'll be able to see this thing actually working. I do have, though, an implement here. I have a boom out behind my fence behind you there, and I did a honeydew list thing and pulled up a bunch of largest shrubs uh, out in the front of the house, and I have some video of that here I'll show. As you can see here, the hydraulics on the tractor worked really well. That was actually able to pick up the front end when I had the wrong hold on the shrubs. So the hydraulics on this tractor are very strong now. And I was able to pull up those shrubs, nothing, no problem whatsoever. One of the issues I had in the past with this tractor is that it would not stay up the arms would hiccup to a degree uh, when they were up in an up position that it would just constantly be doing this number, kind of a hiccup when it was at the highest positions. That's gone. No more problems with that. I don't have video or footage of this, but I put the boom on the track. I left the boom on the tractor and left it in the yard here in the upright position with the tractor off and the boom stayed up for what seemed like two days. Yes, it did eventually leak down, but one of the other problems I had with this tractor was oil getting by the hydraulic cylinder and uh, oil getting by the hydraulic piston in the hydraulic cylinder. And since I have replaced all of the O-rings and all of the seals and things inside the, inside the hydraulic system, this thing is actually holding up loads very well. It's, it's awesome, it's amazing. Uh, for a 50-year-old plus tractor, I'm very pleased with how all this has turned out. So what's next for this thing? What can you expect to see in future videos? Well, let's go through it. Let's walk around here and take a look at some of the things that I need to address on this tractor still. This is the power assisted steering unit that came on some of these early original uh, 990 Selectomatics. This power assist setup was something I think that was an option for these tractors and primarily was in the US, I think. I don't think they used them that much in England or in Australia but or any, any other places, but there are quite a few of these still around in the US and my power assist is really leaking up underneath there. You can kind of see that that is leaking and the O-rings in this old power assist unit are probably about shot. It does leak a little bit there at the back of the uh, 
cylinder. Lance has convinced me that this shouldn't be that difficult to get into and replace the seals. However, I can't find anything really online where anybody on YouTube has ever been inside one of these things to actually kind of see it before I get into it. If anybody does have any experience with going through these uh, power assist cylinders on these old David Brown tractors, uh, please post in the comments below because I'd love to hear what your experience has been in servicing and replacing the seals, uh, O-rings, that kind of thing inside these power assist units. I want to keep it on the tractor. I'll also need to go through the power assist pump. It's leaking just a little bit in some places. And apparently I need to also redo the cold start seals because it is still leaking right there. I, I replaced the cold start seals before I started videoing. I used Barry's video to do that. I ordered the seals from David Brown Power Parts, but maybe I didn't tighten it up enough. It does still leak from right there a little bit. You can kind of see it right there. You know, there's a little bit of, little bit of diesel fuel. Maybe water though, I don't know. Maybe it's not leaking. Now we'll come around to the right side of the tractor. As you can see here, it's kind of shiny. I think these are called inspection plates. I think you can take them off and get and kind of visualize the push rods. I've been watching Barry's video lately on the engine and redoing the head. And I think he talked about, talked a little, a little bit about these plates. Uh, and as you can see on mine, they're leaking oil to a degree. It has been for, I think, years. Uh, I think there is maybe a cork gasket or some kind of gasket behind these inspection plates. And uh, I think I'm going to take it off, take these plates off kind of see what's behind it and see if the gaskets need to be replaced. I doubt when I had the pistons and sleeves and valves redone in this tractor, I doubt anything was done to those uh, inspection plates and it's probably still got the original gaskets behind them. I think I just need to replace them though because it's quite oily right there. But that, unless anybody sees anything completely wrong here, that would pretty much button up things that leak. I mean, it's a David Brown. They're, I mean, they leak. But there are some things I can do here to re remediate some of the leakages and uh, get this thing in a better condition. And after I get through with all of that uh, work around there, I think this one will be pretty much done. Yes, I do want to paint it eventually. I want to make it look pretty. Uh, eventually, maybe. I'll have to use a bunch of Bondo. I don't want to use, I don't want to replace these with the newer ones. I kind of want to use the original steel. But yeah, eventually I think I will paint it and make it into a pretty tractor again, even though it's got a nice patina now. So, well, we'll see. You may have heard me reference in some previous videos that we have another David Brown 990. This, uh, the other one is, I think, 73, 74 model. It's actually got case on the side of it, case David Brown 990. So it's after case bottom. Uh, and it's down at our own home place. Like I've said in some of the other videos, it has a stuck spool valve. And I'll need to go through it, take it, take all the hydraulics off of it, get the valve chest out, get that spool valve. Uh, rectified. So I'll probably be videoing a lot of that. I probably won't go into a whole lot of detail about how all that comes out because I've already videoed most of it. And like I said, the Selectomatic system is pretty much the same across tractor models. But where it does differ, I'll make some video. I don't know. I may change all that. That's, that may be next year by the time I get to it. Who knows? Expect to see me doing the work around that I just showed you on this tractor at some point in the next few months. Uh, more short term, I should have some video coming out of this thing actually working out in the field in the September timeframe uh, of 23. So there'll be some other content around this tractor coming out of things I need to do to fix it, that kind of thing. If you've seen something that I need to address, let me know down in the comments section below. I can't see everything, so let, let me know if you see something that needs to be addressed. Uh, if you have any information for me in terms of the uh, power assist on the left side over there, let me know down in the comment section below as well. But thank you for watching and y'all have a great day.